Hey y'all, welcome back to the Southern Cottage. I am Connie. This video is to fix my screw ups. <laughs> we all do it. I um, was making Jack's garter to go with the sash and the butterfly senior. And I realized that yeah, I didn't put any of my normal trinkets on there. And they love those, so they're going to get those. I, um, now I have to go back and fix it. So I'm gonna show you how to go back and add on things when you can't staple or glue under the backer. It's really simple and it can be super, super cute. Let me show you. Okay, if you will remember, I showed you how to attach trinkets and things um, using the uh, ribbons and attaching them under there. We don't have that option on these. So let me show you how we're gonna do this without messing anything up and adding to the beauty of these mums. So, I'm gonna start with my senior. She doesn't have any bells or anything on there and I don't know how I completely forgot that. So, I'm taking some of the ribbon that I used to make her hair bow mum and I'm just making some simple bows and these really aren't bows per se. They're two spikes. I'm gonna fold them in half. Okay, and I'm gonna take on that line and just start pinching them up. Put those two lines together so you know you have them centered and your spikes are gonna be more or less the same size. And then I'm gonna take a chenille stem and just tie it around the middle. And we'll put some bling in the center of these. And we will just attach them and have some of these things hanging off of them. Now on the sash mum, she has two bells. So we don't need all of that on hers. We need a football helmet, a football, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a megaphone on there. On the senior one, she doesn't have any bells. So I've got three bells to put on there. I'm gonna have to get another one of these because the thing is missing out of it. Uh, a silver glitter megaphone, a football helmet, and a large football. And we are gonna hang those from the bottom. We're gonna attach those just into some random places on these mums, and then I'm gonna put a bow on top of where I attach them and cover that up. They'll be on there. They won't be hanging freely, but they'll be there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and string these on. And I'm gonna give me myself a little bit of length. I don't know how far down I'm gonna want them to dangle, but I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot to make it easier to hold the staple because this is a tiny, tiny ribbon and I'm just going to go ahead and do them all with the same ribbon. The difference is how we're going to cover up where we staple. If you can't get your ribbon through the hole, cut it down just a little bit to where it'll go through the hole for you. And sometimes I do this, even if I haven't already attached the backer and finished the mum, sometimes I do this anyway. It's not the wrong way to do it. I'm gonna give this a little bit longer tail, just because. Let me grab another one of these. If 
that one rattles freely. <coughs> Now normally I like to hang them. This is how the megaphone goes. I like to hang them through that hole, but I can't see where that hole is. And I'm not gonna be able to get anything through it. I don't know. Well, especially now that I just broke it off, which is fine. I will hang it like that. This one came off of a garland, and I think I cut it too short. Let me see. You know what? I'm going to use this one that already has some ties on it. And I'm just going to leave it like that. I'll leave it like this. It, it's secured in there, and there's enough that I can staple through all three of those. Now, let me get some for Hannah for the sash. not tying those and I don't even know if I'm gonna need them that long because these don't have to be doubled they can be if you want them to be ahead and do all three of these the same and I'll use what I cut off of this to hang the football Most of this will probably be cut off depending on where I hang them on the mum. Let's go back through this way so the fold's on the back side. And there we go. All of these are strung. I have a couple of bows to go here, so I need four more small bows. And I happen to have made a few before. So we can either use the tiny bows, we can use these, put some bling in the middle. I think, let me go ahead and use some of these because why not? I can use this that already has bling in it. I made this on my bow maker. We can definitely use that one over here. That's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. That will be fine. And then this one. Use up what we got. And then on Hannah's. Let me see. This one's all twisted up the wrong way. We're not even gonna deal with that. I can use that one. So she needs three. I can use that one and that one. 
So I don't have to make any more bows. These are, these are already done for me. All right, let's figure out where we're gonna put them on these mums. Okay, I have y'all down on the floor, but it is quite all right. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to staple the blue onto this rainy bow braid. And I'm wondering, I can go up just a touch higher and let it have all of that length. Put a couple of staples there. Let me cut off this. And then we're going to put this one is sewn together, so I'm just going to hot glue that right there. Put plenty of glue on there. And let that hang. Super cute. It really doesn't take away from the braid, but it is on there and that's what we want so that one is on now let's see where can we add another one you know we might be able to just staple one under here and let it hang i think that's a great idea And what I might do instead of stapling is let me just run it through here and see if I can just tie it on. And the tie where it's attached is going to just be hidden by the loops. If I can grab that piece right there. There we go. flip that over and bring it up where it hangs above that bow and then I'm just going to knot it right here probably going to put a touch of glue just to keep it knotted might not even have to we will see I think that's going to be just fine no glue necessary And there it hangs. And the last one for this is a football helmet. <clears throat> Let's see where we can let this dangle from. You know what? Let's just attach it right here and bring it down a little bit. Let it hang at the bottom. That is not in the middle, but it really does not matter because this is kind of a backstory ribbon. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, I'm just going to throw some glue because this one is sewn as well. And cover up that staple and she has all of her stuff on here that she needs that they really really like so there we go the sash has all the stuff now let me work on the butterfly okay now I'm trying really hard to figure out where these are gonna go as I adjust my antenna there we go those are super cute anyway my first thought is to work with what we have so I have this basketball trinket right here and I'm wondering let me just pull it up a touch and I'm gonna put this right underneath here 
and staple it on and there is no need to put a bow there because it's going to be covered up with the trinket as long as I can get my stapler up underneath the trap on the back side. Yep, there we go. That trinket is going to cover where that is stapled in. And it's just hanging there. Now, if I wanted to, which I do, I can take a little tiny bow and glue it on top of there. Let me put some wing on it first. Because this one is sewn as well. little tiny bow with a flower in there and I'm going to put some glue on the back and we're just going to attach this to the top of that bell. Y'all, all these little things just add to your mugs and I'm kind of known for in my area just adding the finishing touches and that is a finishing touch. It's nothing big the ribbon is super cheap. This is another Timu ribbon. But, I mean, every little bow, every little trinket, every little thing makes a difference. Now, I'm going to add something underneath this owl. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put the football helmet under there. And I'm not going to put a bow on this. It's not necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and trim off the edge of that. And I'm just going to staple under the owl. Again, using what we have that's already on here. And I'm going to, again, go from the back. Make sure I catch. And then I'm going to put a touch of glue right here so that the owl, I make sure, covers that spot. And they are not gonna see where that is attached at all. And there we go. And that hangs in the curl of the uh, twisted ladder, which I absolutely love. All right, let's get some more on here. There's another bell. We're going to bring this one down to where the movement will catch down here. Let's go ahead and bring up the corset. And if you wanted to, you could take this underneath and hot glue it, and you wouldn't have to put anything there. I don't see why we can't put a bow there. I mean, bows make everything better, am I right? And what I'm not going to do is go all the way through this braid. Just go right over top of it through one of the weaves. And there we go. I already had my Senior 24 on here. I made sure that that is hanging right above it. Put some glue on this bow. And we only have two or three left to put on here. See what I mean? Every little bit just adds. And I'm really glad, I'm, I'm glad that I forgot to add these things. That way I had a chance to show you how you can add stuff in later. Now, this is completely open right here. And we have the megaphone. And what I'm gonna try and do is just staple this onto the top of this ribbon to where the staple will fall behind this senior. And I'm just gonna glue that down. Nothing needed right there. But I'm going to make sure, let me tie this up a little taller, or a little shorter. That way when it hangs, you'll be able to see it right here. So, 
that right there is where it needs to be. Move that out of the way. Okay, and I'm gonna take and glue this senior cutout just right there and let it touch where it naturally hangs and that is covered. And we have another trinket on there. All right, I have a football. Where am I gonna put this? You know what? We have this butterfly on the bottom here. I don't want to do that. But, let me see, I could uh, no, I don't want to stretch that out. I could add it right here, and I think I will. In between our bling. Right there. And this one I am going all the way through. Let me find this bow right here. This is one of the ones that I just put together. I'm going to use the chenille stems to staple it on. And then I will put some bling right in the middle. does not take away from this braid at all. You can still see the bling. There's movement. All right. Last one is this bell. Where are we going to put the bell? <clears throat> and I'm thinking, well, no, it's going to put it right up under there. So we have a bell here. We have a bell down there. Let me just see. Yep. I'm just going to put it right here. But no, then I'll have to put a bow on top. Maybe I won't put it. Maybe I'll be done. And I think I will. All right, y'all. I will post completed pictures of the sash and the butterfly and Jack's garter and um, I'll add them to this video I have to go outside and take all the pictures but yeah that is how you go back and fix your screw-ups <laughs> go back and fix them um, they're super simple they add a lot to these mums um, y'all don't get discouraged because 99% of the time things can be fixed all right y'all thank you so much for joining me if you're not subscribed, please do so. Click the bell so you're notified every time that I upload or that I go live. If you'd like to join our mom family, there's a link in the description. We are a closed group. Completely closed. We are drama free. Please be patient once you send the request because it takes a minute to vet everybody. Alright y'all. Thanks for joining me. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.